What we're asking for is to just fund us at an adequate level. All new at 10, thousands of teachers expected to rally at the state capitol Monday, demanding higher salaries and more support. But that means many schools around Oklahoma will be canceling class. Two News reporter Joe Hinkey is live outside Union High School tonight, where not everyone is on board with the rally. Joe? Karen and Russ, some of the teachers representing the Tulsa area will be Union High School teachers from the school behind me. The superintendent here at Union says he supports the rally, but some parents tell me they don't. And tonight at a PTA meeting, both sides voice their opinion. I think that that's, that's one of the wonderful things about this country is that if we want to take off and we want to go protest, we want to go rally, we have every right to do that. Within their rights, but spending Monday at the state capitol means class will be canceled at Union schools and many other districts. Something Monica Dion, mother of a Union fifth grader, does not agree with. Winter's snow and ice took away full days in the classroom. Dion says rallying on a school day is not the way to handle a push for increased teacher salaries and long-term education funding. I really think that with at what's at risk for state testing, that the, the teacher should be in the classroom teaching the kids. Dion and other parents say the rally should have taken place during spring break, keeping students in class, but teachers say their rally would have been silenced. Because our legislators aren't at the Capitol very much at the spring break, and in order to have your voice heard, there has to be people here. Union superintendent says March 31st is also symbolic. The state is supposed to fund education by the next day. You know, look, it's, it's March 31st, tomorrow's April 1st. Let's, let's get this funding right. Back in 1990, I was in ninth grade, the last time our teachers rallied at the Capitol. Now a parent, Michelle Jones, hopes students can use Monday as a day to learn from outside the classroom. They, they will be able to, to learn a, a good civics lesson from this. On Monday, though, classroom seats will be like many at this meeting empty. Now teachers and union superintendent telling me tonight that if their push for increased salaries and support does fail, it will become more of a challenge in the future, they believe, for Tulsa and Oklahoma schools to compete on the national level. Reporting live in South Tulsa tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News, works for you.